here it is. Got the um, surround adhered to with the clips. Uh, I've got my spacers in between uh, the voice coil, the coal assembly, and the center of the motor. Um, that also included kind of getting the spider uh, adhered to yesterday. And uh, what I want to go ahead and do is take all these off, um, ensure that uh, it is dry. It has been sitting overnight. Um, so I want to make sure the epoxy and both adhesives are, are, are really making a good connection there before I apply any power. Um, I will also show here how we did the um, tinsel leads. And so the tinsel leads, you can see are kind of run right under uh, the spring, uh, spring terminals. And I haven't soldered them just yet, but they'll be soldered onto those two little points right there. Um, and I've got some heat shrink around where it goes through the frame. That way we uh, prevent any shorting or potential of shorting. So um, yeah, it's coming along very well, looking good. Um, again, uh, until we pull everything apart and validate that it's centered, uh, that's when we'll really know that we got good results. So uh, here we go. Here it is guys um looks like we did a pretty decent job of centering it putting everything together uh i got some pretty good excursion on this thing right now running a 20 hertz cycle um but overall looks pretty good i like how it's come out for a little 10 it definitely does its job really good excursion actually so not hearing any grinding, not hearing any uh, hitting, clapping. It's hard to see how centered it is just by uh, the naked eye, but uh, looks like it's it's up and running. So I think uh, we can call this one a success. Um, and the next step will be go ahead and just to kind of make sure we epoxy the tinsel leads down below. You can see there's some movement on there. Want to reinforce those. Um, Really good excursion back here. Spider looks like it's holding. Got some good ventilation from these back holes right here. I can feel it right on the back. It's probably what's hitting the uh, chair. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. So I'm probably gonna just let this run for a little bit. And then I will put the uh, final assembly ring, which is that uh, mounting ring on there. And uh, probably use some black RTV here just to kind of blend in. Um, I do have some heat shrink to, to isolate both leads, but it looks really good. Uh, it did ohm out and uh, at four ohms per voice coil, so it's a dual four. And I uh, guess I'm pleased with it. So thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, oh yeah, I gotta put the center dust cap on there. So um, I'll do that and do another video and let it run and just hope uh, um, this thing helps somebody or makes somebody happy um, but really popular speakers I'm glad you guys can uh, join me for this repair and uh, if you like again please uh, like subscribe and hopefully I can uh, generate more content uh, for things that are lacking out there right uh, anything can be repaired uh, there's a ton of videos out there so I'll just try to pick on uh, models that you don't really have a lot of content on YouTube or Google or any of the forums so thank you all all right, here it is, final product. So able to put the uh, final trim ring, I gotta get some epoxy off of here, or the old residue. Um, so I was able to get that on. Uh, this was the final trim ring here. I was able to place the dust cap um, after cleaning it up a little bit. That was kind of the final piece. So looks good. Um, very pleased with how it came out considering the uh, state that it was in. And so um, I guess the next thing is to really just uh, continue playing it. Again, I'll get some of this adhesive out. So when they put these in boxes, these uh, loaded boxes with passive enclosures, I like that they actually put a little sticker on here to help cover up the mounting holes. So it looks pretty nice and flush all around. Um, but yeah, so what we ended up doing uh, was, let me see if I can flip it over and show the tinsel leads here. Um, Got the tinsel reeds run from the bottom of the spider in the back, and then I actually ran it from an opening that was right behind the um, 
the push spring terminals. And that allowed me to solder directly right in between here. And then after I soldered, I went ahead and placed some black RTV just for, as well as uh, two things, to insulate it and to reinforce it. That way, if it is moving a lot, it doesn't stress the uh, solder joint or anything like that. So came out really good, impressed. Um, even though this is powder coated, uh, probably steel, not aluminum, um, it shouldn't be conductive from the outer, outer surface, but anywhere where I feel like there might have been uh, electrical contacts, I went ahead and either put uh, Kapton tape uh, before I placed the spider on, and then also on the inside area as well. It's just, if you recall, it did invert the spider, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, there was an insulator between the leads themselves um, and the frame. Uh, same thing on the other side. And again, it's a dual four ohm voice coil. So take a little closer look if it focuses. Here's your RTV. Again, helps to insulate between both leads. Again, it's not very high voltage, right? Anywhere from uh, zero to 20 to 30 volts or so, uh, just a lot more current. So it doesn't really uh, uh, concern me as much, but I just wanted to make sure that if there's any loose, excuse me, loose, um, uh, pieces of wire or anything like that that they don't jump over during the vibration so turned out really really good i'm very pleased did clean up a little bit in the back i noticed that when i ran it initially uh, there's a lot of good ventilation taking place uh, from this point which is always a plus because that means air circulating from the spider uh, down here through the voice coil and out through the motor so that's always uh, helpful uh, to keep a nice cool voice coil but uh, overall turned out really well. I'm pleased and um, again uh, another repair. Uh, this was in pretty rough uh, uh, I, guess, I guess you can say order in regards to completely burned up spider, uh, burned up tinsel leads, the voice coil was completely disintegrated in there as well and burnt up so it was good to kind of find uh, replacement parts uh, that fit in there. Of course, it needed a little bit of modification, but nothing very complex, guys. I think anyone should be able to do this with just a little patience. And you guys saw kind of my uh, tools. You don't need a lot of tools. Just again, it's time, patience. Uh, and the more you do this, the more you're going to get accustomed to it. But dust cap looks good. As you can see, if you really look closely, you can probably see where I used my pick tool to pick it out, but nothing that is uh, a showstopper here. And again, anything I repair is always going to be uh, advertised as repaired or modified, whatever it may be. So uh, good to go. Um, I'm excited about this. As you can see before, we couldn't even get any movement on here, but here's some movement. Um, and next is, I don't know if I have any 10 inch subwoofer boxes, but if I do, I'll place it in there. If not, I'll just let it play free air and, and jam on for a bit. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Hey guys. So here is the final product. Got it all put together, got the ring placed on, got the dust cap placed on, and it looks like it is up and running. Right now we are running a uh, 20 hertz sinusoidal uh, frequency on there, um, just to kind of exercise max maximum excursion on this puppy. Uh, looks good, looks really, really good. Uh, producing a lot of air, really uh, windy. I'm not sure if I can uh, show it with this probably can't tell but it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's uh working um as expected we got all the repairs done um you can see pretty good excursion on this got it wired up in parallel so right now it's running at two ohms and you can just see a lot of wind and this thing really wants to move so let me try to put it on here Look at this excursion here. Looks great. Really windy back here, so I am pleased that it's really circulating a lot of air around the voice coil and through the motor holes, so that's great. Um, got the tinsel leads looking really good. Nothing is touching. Uh, not feeling warm at all, so I felt the back and let it run for a while, and it's uh, staying pretty cool, so overall very pleased with this repair. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like, please uh, push that subscribe button and I will look for more content to put out there. Thank you.